How's your energy, Southern Arizona? Good morning to you. I'm Paul C. Collin. The celebration continues for Nogales native and U of A grab Bob Baffert. This after becoming just the second trainer to win the Triple Crown twice in horse racing. Here's more on how he's gotten to this point. Come on, Jim. This is Justify, the morning after winning the Belmont Stakes and taking home a Triple Crown. And this Justify from was Justify Saturday afternoon. And now he's just immortal! Justify is the 13th Triple Crown winner! By becoming the 13th horse to win all three of the sport's elite races, Justify trotted his way into the history books, but also helped cement Nogales native Bob Baffert's legacy as a trainer. But for Baffert, all the credit goes to Justify. He knows he's a bad dude. I mean, he, he knows he, when he walks in there, those other horses, he, he, he's very intimidating. He's more like the intimidator. Yeah. In the paddock, those other horses, they see him, they get, he, he knows that, uh, you know, he's the guy. And Baffert also knows he is making his own waves in the sporting world. From a youngster racing at Rito Downs here in Tucson, to training quarter horses in Sonoita, to being raised in Nogales on a ranch along the Mexican border with his six brothers and sisters. We had cattle and, and uh, we had a chicken farm. We had 20,000 laying hands. Back for ranch eggs, that was our business. Back in the day, everybody knew each other. We would cross the border as easily as you would cross the street. Have lunch and just walk right back. My dad had a few quarter horse mares and Somebody told me, I think they're bred for racing, and uh, that's how we got involved with it, just as a hobby. A hobby that has now made Baffert millions of dollars. Some hobby, isn't it? He's unstoppable! It's also put the proud product of Santa Cruz County on top of the racing world as perhaps the best horse trainer ever. Hey, long live Nogales with Bobby Baffert represented worldwide. Speaking of international. Hey, finally, Catalina Foothills head football coach Jeff Skurin recently helped raise $2,000 and get new uniforms to a needy and deserving group of five and six year olds along the U.S. Mexico border. Coming up in a special report on News 4 Tucson tonight at 10 p.m. I'll shadow coach Skurin in Agua Prieta, Sonora, Mexico with this amazing story of international goodwill and Arizona Sonora Brotherhood. Make sure to tune in my friends. It's walk a mile in your shoes is what it's all about. And, and I think, you know, that, that more people need to see what's going on in the world and, and to find a way to help, you know, kids out. Can't wait. Tonight at 10. That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Collin for News 4 Tucson Sports. Happy Monday to you.